Hey guys, it's Gaurav again. <coughs> Today in this video I'm going to touch base on uh, another important and very important function in Excel which is naming uh, your cells. Right? What it means. So for an example uh, this cell, right? When you activate this cells, it gives you a name L4. But let's say if you want to change it or if you want to call it you know because you cannot really remember every time that okay what do you have in l4 but you can definitely remember let's say if starting column q1 it's your table with stocks right so that's easy to remember or you want to remember from you know let's say here in ao you want to say rate card right so that's easy rather remembering a01 rate card is far easier because that's something you use so what you can do is you can just go in this cell you call it rate activate that you know keep this cell active when you are trying to change it so you call it rate card so you cannot have a space in between i think otherwise it says it's a logical name and that's it now you come back so another function is you know you click home and it'll it'll be on the first column so this now when you see you have added here something similarly let's say if you want if your table from column q is starting as stocks just name it stocks and that's it so it adds to your library of names let's say you know this is still easy right so if you if you have some data starting let's say somewhere here right t527 and you want to call it customer okay now you call it customer okay so now you have in your library you have a customer table you have a rate card and you have stocks where this function is most helpful is when you have a lot of data on your file maybe on one sheet maybe on other sheets right let's give it a try for other sheet and then i'll try to explain how it is very helpful so let's say if on my if tab this function right so if i name this as if okay so it's a, it's got added your customer if rate card and stocks let's go back now for a moment let's say you wanted to you know check how your customer table is looking like so you reached here you reviewed and now you want to go to you know your stocks basically your customer said this much you need but you want to check how much is the stock so you go here just select this and it will jump at the top you know it will show you how much is your stock now you want to see okay so how much uh, should i charge and i want to see the rate card you select here rate card and it will give you here so that's that's really a simple tool from excel but it is definitely very helpful when you have large amount of data in the same file and then you want to navigate through so basically it really helps in navigation that's that's one of the advantage guys so that's only one of the advantage the second advantage is in case you want to use the cell reference for this cell uh, you can actually start using the name in your formulas right so I'll I'll be making some more videos when we will be turning to nested functions that how to use name of a cell uh, in your formula so that you don't really have to remember okay if it was OA1 or you know something like that um, another thing I wanted to show was uh, you can actually use this function in you know in hop between tabs it's, it, it shouldn't need to be uh, only on the same tab but you can jump you know within the workbook you can jump on different tabs as well right so we were on uh, now we just jump down to if if you want to go back to cust let's say customers you know okay so here was our customer table and stuff like that all right okay i hope this was helpful guys uh, leave me a comment how you, how you did you like it and definitely subscribe to my channel i'll be making some more videos you know as we go along and leave me a comment in case you would like me to do any, uh, a video on any other function in Excel. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.